Yo, what's up guys, Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Hope everyone's doing well. So today I am bringing you a team with Typhlosion. Basically focused on Typhlosion, but it has a lot of cool stuff on it as well. Especially because I also saw another Mon that I really wanted to play a little bit more in this regulation, and that's Mousehold. Now this Mousehold actually has Technician in pop uh, with Population Bond. Bomb, but it also has it still has follow me and ton for for some added utility which is why i wanted to try it but population bomb is actually really really strong right now especially with the normal Terra. you pretty much just one shot a lot well okay not one shot 10 hits but it's still technically a one shot with mouse hold and it's actually surprisingly really powerful so that's what i want to see with this uh with this video is if i can make mouse hold work we got Mal uh, King Gambit here as well with the Assault Vest on the Kaltau Cleave, Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and Low Kick, which is a nice little tech here. Usually, yeah, when you see the Assault Vest, Low Kick is usually the the flex slot that you see on this King Gam uh, this type of King Gambit. So you also have the Fairy Terra for for defense. Uh, you got Tauros here with the Grass Terra, of course, because it's a Water Tauros and Grass just covers it really, really well. With Protect, Aqua Jet, Raging Bolt, and Close Combat, and the Clear Amulet. You've also got Ursa Luna here. Which I need to check if it's the fast one. I do have the poker paste here, so I can just check right now. Uh, by the way, I found this team through James Beck. You guys obviously know who he is. He's a very good VGC player. Has been in a bunch of tournaments and probably once a couple. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know his track record, so don't hate me on that. I don't know him very well. I just got into competitive VGC this year, so well, not this year, but last year. Uh, with generation 9 so I don't really know but I just know that he's a very very good uh, BGC player so shout out to him for the, for showcasing the team and I'll also be putting the, uh, the creator in the description below alongside the rental and the Pokebase for you guys to try out because this isn't his team he just got it from someone but yes this Ursa Luna is indeed 232 th th 236 speed so it is a fast Luna or uh, uh, fast bear so We'll see what this thing can do. I like using Ursa Luna when it's fast, so I'm excited to see what it can do. But we have Whimsicott here, who is actually very on the bulky side as well. So this one can actually take a little bit of beating, so it can stay there next to Typhlosion and actually be able to keep those Tailwinds and Sunny Days up if, if needed. And it also has the Cover Cloak, so you can't fake it out. So it's guaranteed to put something up in case there's like weather, you can put Sunny Day or you can just go for Tailwind. And then last but not least, the uh, Star of the show, which is Typhlosion with the Eruption, Heat Wave, Shadow Ball, and Overheat with the Fire Terra, Choice Specs, and Blaze if it, if it gets to activate that. So, really excited to see what we can do with this thing. But yeah, if you guys want to try the team, of course, the rent and the Pokebase will be in the description, as I said before. And make sure to like and subscribe so I can get my chicken nuggies, because I really do want my chicken nuggies. But with that said, guys, let's just get straight into this, see if we can get some Regulation H matches going. Alright, let's go right into it. Okay, well, we're going to see if we can actually get this going, because... So far, it's been pretty rough trying to get this going. There could be white guard on that thing, and I am absolutely flabbergasted. I'm running into the potential wild. Oh my god, they also have wheezing. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but. It's gonna be rough. That's, that's what I'll tell you right now. It's gonna be rough. 100% gonna be rough because if I can't this is a tanky Whimsicott and I can tell you right now even with the bulk that it has it can't live a Archaladon Flash Cannon so that's something that uh, is good to know this Whimsicott is bulky with like max, almost near max HP and a little bit of special defense I think I think it's special defense let me let me check again no it doesn't have any it's special attack my bad it has max HP Practically and it can't take a it can't take a flash cannon no matter what it goes down to a flash cannon from Archaladon so I'm not really Expecting this thing to you know survive anything because of that But we'll see what happens We will see what happens here If I can get anything done with this with this team All right Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna try to hit the hit the button and see if it works. Yep, there it is. That's that's what I was expecting, honestly. If he's flash, the thing is, if he's flash fire, I'm going. I don't know what I do. I 
He could be flash fire for all I know, honestly. I'm just gonna hit this. I guess I switch into midnight. Call it a day. I don't want to put the sun up because then I just power up that armor rouge. So I'm just gonna do this. That is not a. If that's a weak armor armor rouge, I'm gonna be upset because it, it shouldn't be. Don't tell me you're your weak armor armor rouge. No. Fighting. Why? Oh, it doesn't KO. Hyflosion, you're so weak. You're so weak. Double, double this. Okay, so it's... But how do we deal with this? Oh boy. Well, this ain't looking good for us, that's for sure. That's flash fire. It has to be flash fire. And I have two things weak to this thing, so that's gonna be fun. I need to just... It's not even very effective, that's the problem. He might just double expanding anyways, and if that's it, then we just call it. Because I can't do anything with the Cyphlosion. I just can't get it to work. I'm running into too many things that counter it. Oh, it's not even Scarfed. <sighs> and it went into that, yeah. He doesn't miss it either. He has Focus Blast and he doesn't miss it either. I'm just getting punished left and right by everything right now. Who runs Fighting Terra? This, man. The damage is just not there. And it's, that's kind of a problem. Damage just isn't there. We lost already two of our mons. And we haven't gotten anything out of it. Yeah, we're just gonna get expanding. This is why I still run wide guard in this regulation. It's why I run I still run wide guard in this regulation, because there's there's just so many things that hit AoE. So you should still be running wide guard no matter what. Like look, high flosion, we've got double expanding. Not much else I can do here. Not much else I can do. I don't even think Tailwind will save me, but it is what it is. Let's just try it. You do get the Tailwind because we are faster naturally. We're still slower than the than that thing, by the way. We're still slower than the uh, <laughs> than the Lumina Crash thing. Now it gets a speed boost, yeah. This point we just lose, right? There's no way for us to win. Yeah, I think we just lose. Yeah, that's not enough damage. We just don't have the damage. And we can't sucker punch because of uh because the terrain is still up. Damn, I don't know man. Tonight is not the night for, for high flosion. I've run into nothing but things that counter it. Not even a joke. It's all I've been running into. Is uh, things that counter it. Flash fire, armor rouge, a flip turns, choice guard, bruxish. I've ran into a uh, tri triple wide guard, like a chaladon. Yeah, flip turn, bruxish into pelipper, by the way. And I didn't know that was going to happen. So yeah, this, this is going pretty bad. All right. Maybe next one. 
All right, well, we're running into our Chalad on Pelipper here. Not sure how that's gonna feel like right now, but I think I could do this as long as they decide to go Pelipper. If they have Wide Guard though, this is gonna go really bad, really fast. Like, no joke, they will. I think Pony's not bad here, actually. It might actually be really good here, and I'm gonna go with Midnight. And we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if we can get the thing going, because... We need to see if it, it's possible. That's a very angry monkey, just like me, I'm an angry monkey. I am an angry monkey too. Just like Monferno. They're going with this, okay. Uh, I don't want to hit the eruption button just yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do here. Watch it to pink, even though I won't have any, I really won't have any damage going into anything here. And go sunny day. I just don't want to get hit by a... Uh... I, I don't know if Typhlosion can take a hit. I'll be completely honest with you. I not 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 take a hit. I I really don't know if this thing can one shot those two. I just didn't want to deal with that. Terra Water. We're gonna put the sun up, and then we're just gonna go for the. Uh... We actually went for Aqua Jet. Okay, go for Sunny Day. Yeah, Aqua just an option too, huh? I think I've swapped out here. The good thing is that we also... Um... Yeah, the good thing is that it's, it, it Terra, so the other thing isn't going to Terra. The problem is now we, ha we, can, well, we can Terra away from our thing, actually. True. I think I just Tailwind and let, let my dude go. Let's switch into Midnight here. Midnight be, might be fine to switch into. I'm gonna close combat here. I just Tailwind. I was expecting Pelipper to go out, not not this. Okay. Okay, I get my tailwind up now. Just nice. Oh, that did so much damage anyways. Yeah, the weather boss is kind of a problem though, isn't it? I <laughs> can't. Okay. At this point, what's the point of the of the of the HP? Because it doesn't even it, it doesn't really help you against anything. Uh, I'm just gonna go for close combat in this. And I'm just gonna erupt. I think it's fine. Yeah, because now we don't have we don't have weather control though. That's the that's the one issue here. We don't have weather control. All right. Well, let's see what happens. No, oh, yeah, you could just protect that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just hoping Whimsicott can take something. 
and it just can't take anything. That bulk doesn't help anything at all. Like the the bulk doesn't help at all. Because we're just getting blown up by everything. <laughs> by every like as long as it's times two, it's still it's still one shots the whimsy cut. And there's actually a lot of things that hit it for times two that your other teammates don't want to get hit by. That's the that's the issue. No, I'm just gonna go for close combat on this. And let what's his face go. At this point we're we're not getting um He's gonna switch into what's his face at this point. Probably even just KO my 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 bull. Could happen here. It could indeed happen. Yep, there's the switch. Probably gonna wave crash me and then just take me out. Yep, he's going straight for the ball. Oh no, he's not. That's fine. I think that's okay. They should just KO it then. Because it, we 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 we're fine with this. Yeah, basically, that's like the second biggest threat on his team. So that's, I would have gone for the bull there. I'm, I'm pretty sure a, a wave crash, Terra water, at minus what one defense would have one shot at the bull, which would have been really really big, or uh, for him. Because Iflosion isn't really threatening him. You literally just put up the. You know the the thing up. So was there really a point in that? Not really, no. I'm just thinking, what do we do here? He's gonna put up Tailwind, and I don't think I could stop it. You protect. If I was him, I would protect Tailwind, right? That's your best play. If, if I don't call it right though, I go down. I think instead I go for a, a Aqua Jet into this. Or a Raging Bull or something. And go for a Kowtow on this. Just in case. Yeah, no, I knew it. I knew I should have just went straight, doubled in. But if he, if he played dumb and went for it, I would have been in a lot of trouble. That's why I went for this. Oh, he went for Hurricane. No, wait, that, that also kind of sends me out, huh? Damn, man. I still had one turn of Tailwind, too. Mm. We might just lose this one, too. Yeah. He didn't play. I should have just doubled in, but I was just scared. I was really scared. That's more than enough to KO me. That's more than enough to KO me. Oh well, GG. He played the endgame well. I'll take it out, but now it's like... We might be able to take one weather ball if we're lucky. Maybe. Okay, we are able to take one. Yeah, he's gonna start protecting. I'm just gonna keep doing it though. It's really my only play. He thought I wouldn't keep going for some reason. I would have. I would have tried at least three or four. Three or four, and then I would have tried. I would have. I would have attacked. That's when you your, the mind the mind games are really in there because after the second I'm still going for like I still have seven more so there's no point in me not hitting sucker punch over and over right it's my only chance so I might as well hit it until I have like two left and then I you know start panicking but, all right I managed to get it pulled through all right let's get to the next one all right let's hope that this last one I can actually get something done because 
Hopefully we can. Um, what do I want to bring here? It's definitely not what's his face, right? Midnight might not be bad here. We we'll bring the we we need Tailwind. Do we need Tailwind now though? Probably not. What do we bring here? Definitely hot to go and wounds are cutting the back. I think that's fine. It actually might be pink pony actually, and then just these two in the back. And we'll see what happens. This might be fine actually. Pink pony looks okay here. Pink pony, there's no way they will go for a ridge draft and risk the trick room because then I could just sit on them if I really want to. I, I don't see them doing that, right? There's no way they go for it. Yeah. Are they just gonna do the Tailwind thing? I'm just gonna go for this slot. Honestly. And ignore the golden go. It's probably choice specs though, but I think it's fine. Unless this thing is tarot ground. No, he's going he's going straight for make it rain. On two things that resist it. Okay. Oh no, he's gonna trick. Okay, well that's fine. I just want to take this thing out. Oh, it's not enough. Not good. I really am surprised he went for that though. I can still change though. No? no? That's not. He's not even gonna Terra. Wow, that is, that's actually able to KO. That's great. Oh, of course, never mind. Critical. Yeah, I didn't think it would KO unless it's a critical. There's no way. Absolutely no way that 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 KOs otherwise. Or at least we got Golden Joe out of the way. So that's at least nice. But we really need this Tailwind Setter out of the way. We absolutely need this Tailwind Setter out of the way. Ooh. I did just lose my only way to deal with that thing though. I'm going to have to Terra here. Hmm. Yeah, this is a this is a problem. Low kick wouldn't KO. And 100% wouldn't. I think I just go for this slot. Oh, wait, hold up. This slot. Tailwind. Of the day. Because if I can at least get their tailwind out of the way, that'll be pretty big. I need to Terra here though, otherwise, I'm kind of not in a good spot. I mean, he gave me the sun at least, so that's always nice. I just hope low kick is enough. I should have went for Iron Head. Oh, he went for that slot. Okay, wait, hold up. Oh my god, I almost went down. Oh god, it wasn't enough. Okay. I may have just thrown. <laughs> that wasn't enough? Oh my god, I should have just went for the damn Iron Head. Still good damage though. And that should be enough now for Typhlosion to just one-shot the... uh. 
the thing, right? We should be fine now. Oh, no, especially if he goes for Whimsicott, I think we're fine. We're completely fine now. Because he's no longer fast, he has no Tailwind. Yeah, he just ran out. So I can just go safely into this. We can even go for Shadow Ball depending on what's, what's the last Mon. Oh, it's Boom. It's, is it Riddle Boom? Yeah, it is. Did he Terra? Oh, he hasn't terra though. Oh, that's correct. He hasn't terra though. Oh, right. He hasn't terra though. We can't go for eruptions then. We need to go for heat waves. Because he hasn't terra and he's about to terra right now. So we might have just lost anyways. We literally have to hope this KOs, otherwise we just lose. I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball. Ah, uh, yeah, we lost. Okay. It's not. It wasn't. It wasn't banded. Yikes. Okay, then we lose. He didn't Terra. Bro, I went for. I went for Shadow Ball because I... He didn't Terra, no. No, he hasn't. What did he Terra? No, there's no way he Terra... No, he hasn't Terra anything. He didn't Terra anything. What, what the heck? Bro, why wouldn't you Terra here? I could have literally just erupted and I would have KO'd and I would have won. Are you kidding me, dude? And he has knockoff. And we lose to the knockoff. No, he would have lost if I just went for eruption. Why wouldn't you Terra there? That's I literally played through Terra. Like the protect makes sense, but still, it's like, why wouldn't you Terra there? You one eruption and you're gone, dude. Oh man. Okay. Well, it is what it is. All right. All right, guys. Well, all I can say is, me and Fire Pokemon that erupt that isn't Torkoal, we don't mix. First Charizard and Hyphlosion and it just doesn't work out for me because I'm too scared to hit the buttons because they never I don't know the calcs and every time I do go for the buttons they never do damage so it's just like I, I, I get conflicted like results so I just get scared of hitting the buttons if I just hit Heat Wave there I would have won it didn't even have to be Eruption it just had to be Heat Wave and I would have won maybe, maybe. I, don't, I actually don't like I said I don't know if I would have won because he um Harkonnen even it was it was low, but Harkonnen could easily maybe tank the heat wave, even though I'm uh I'm under the sun and everything, because it's times four resistance. So I really don't know the cocks in there. So it, it really it really depends if, if um Arcanine survives or not. And he just happens to have knockoff on the uh on the Rillaboom too. So I couldn't I wasn't gonna win anyways. But yeah, if I just went for eruption, he would have lost. I don't know why he, he didn't Terra. That was just such a weird a weird endgame there. And it was just me respecting, I guess, my opponent too much to to have done. Like, I should have. I, honestly, I should have known he wouldn't have Terra because he didn't Terra Goldengo. He didn't Terra Goldengo in front of King Gambit. So, I don't know. I shouldn't have respected him for that. That was that was my bad, I guess. Anyways, right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll leave all the info in the description below if you guys want to try out the team. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm, I'm, I think this heat is just getting to me, man. It's super hot right now. It's it's literally what like 12 a.m. and it's and I'm burning alive. All right. Well, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.